This is Moose, Moosey. <laughs> He's my current foster and uh, his owner had passed away and the reason they didn't adopt him out from the shelter was just because he's got lots of skin allergies, he's got a heart murmur, he needs a dental. This is Sloth and he is affectionately named Sloth because of uh, his resemblance to the character Sloth from the Goonies. He is a 12 year old Chihuahua. He has a grade four heart murmur. He has a bunch of broken teeth, so we're gonna get all of those removed, uh, but he has a heart of gold. POSCO's mission is unique in that they work with local shelters to identify um, shelter animals that aren't doing well in the shelter setting. They do often come, come to us in, in a little bit rough shape. All of us here at POSCO are volunteers. Without donations, we wouldn't be able to do this. I wouldn't be able to purchase the vaccines, the microchips. We wouldn't be able to send some of these animals to our vet partners for a dental that costs $2,000 the animals. <laughs> they go from being homeless little heartbeats to finding a place where they're loved and cared for, which is a really amazing thing that happens for them. It's a funny thing with fosters. You just start, you love them so much and so hard and so fast, and it's really difficult to let them go. Like I've probably fostered maybe 110, 120 animals at this point. I've kept one. <laughs> I failed one time. I've been with POSCO since 2013, and this is my 76th foster. This here is Partner, and Partner was a foster um, that I immediately gravitated to him. He came from Lamar and he's 14 years old and he has zero teeth. The day he arrived, I was like, well, he's mine now. This is Tiny Saurus Rex, also a foster fail through Paws Co. She was found on a highway and she had uh, two broken legs that uh, were never fixed and so her bones fused together. And so she just looks like a little Tyrannosaurus Rex and she's nine years old and she runs this house. <laughs> This here is Sully McKinnon. Uh, when I was introduced to him by a friend at um, a, a shelter, she said, I have the drooliest, most shedding dog I've ever encountered in my life and nobody wants to adopt him. He was dropped off because his parents got a divorce and I did not think that he was going to be a foster fail, but <laughs> I mean, desperate for attention, hates that all the chihuahuas get all of the love. Um, I like to dress them up in abs jerseys and we go down to Ball Arena because the Avalanche obviously have the St. Bernard as their mascot and he loves the attention. So, hi. Yeah, I know that for every dog that gets out of the shelter, it's really like saving two lives because you have the one that you pulled from the shelter and then the one that takes its place that has a spot um, in the shelter until it, it gets rescued. You're saving the life that you took in. Um, that opens up my spare bathroom so that I can take in a foster kitty from a shelter. And now that shelter has an open space that can take in another homeless cat. I'm just a step in their journey to, to finding their forever home. That way I can save another life. Um, and it's, it's just great to be able to not have to worry about them having their heart broken again, right? So my heart might break a little bit when I have to adopt them, but they'll never be disappointed or heartbroken again. Your donations are the only reason that PAWS coexists. Those donations help animals that would otherwise be euthanized in the shelter. And these animals are just so loving, they just need a home. They just need a loving family. And they just need that chance. <laughs>